Okay, so um, there's a group I attend where I sort of share that uh, um, uh, in my perception, a teacher has fallen from grace. Uh, and so I share that in the groups. And uh, a student has said to me, well, that's just, uh, that's that could be just your judgment uh, that a teacher has, has said that, you know, and I see the teacher and uh, nothing, that doesn't seem to be a problem. Well, I share that, you know, for me, there's, um, there is the level of non-duality or the infinite where this world doesn't exist and there is no me and there's no others and there is no right and wrong. I mean, not right and wrong, I would say levels of consciousness. And there is not a me that needs to be responsible and share experiences with other, with seeming others of what, what seems to, and saying the things that seem to be uh, the right thing to say. Um, so, um, now could that, um, at a certain level, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, you can say from the highest level, from an undue level, just in order to speak that it is a very low vibration that there's a you saying to others that in your view, uh, a teacher has fallen from grace. And at that, at the highest level, there is no such thing as a me and others and teachers falling from grace. But I would say, uh, you know, I, I speak at different levels. So yes, at the level of non-duality, there is no me and there is no others. And there's nothing for anyone to worry about, about, uh, uh, you know, such things as people with no, low integrity or having fall from grace doesn't exist at the level of duality. However, if one, um, if others potentially see one as a teacher, uh, then uh, at those low levels of consciousness, it can be seen that uh, the teacher has a responsibility to the students to share um, the uh, perceptions of, um, of guarding the students from um, from uh, potential suffering. So one of the duties of someone who sh who has a has a has a position of of being looked up to, you know, to to look out for the students, and to and to share the experiences and insights that might help the students on their journey of freedom and to guard them against suffering within the world of separation. So uh, now, the, now is this a judgment? On a certain level, you could say from a high level, everything is a judgment if you're still in duality. Well, at a certain level, it could be intuitive. That it's the right thing to do to share share that uh, with the group that uh, the the perception at that level and to the students um, uh, that are not at non dual levels that there is such a thing as falling from grace. So what does that mean? Uh, it could mean, for example, um, let's say there was a teacher uh, and then um, there was many stories of sudden sudden uh, sexual seduction with many of the females that were being shared very very strongly within the group and and uh, and some and these people many of these people are known so there can be direct conversations uh, as to whether the potential stories of, of sexual misconduct were true and uh, also um one had been had known uh, you know so there's various things that go on there and there might have been muscle testing done to confirm through muscle testing whether this was true or not. And therefore it could arise within the dualistic world that I, I sort of see myself as a, in a position of responsibility and that within the dualistic context of that level of consciousness and students, it, it is, it is, um, it is uh, good to, to share that. Um, also, I'll just show others on the, on the thing of judgment. Within the world of duality, uh, is there such a thing as people who take advantage of you? Does, is that really real? Could there be builders within dualistic perception that seem to be not honest? Could there be teachers that are sound good, but may have uh, may have fallen from grace? So it's like, for example, if I was to say, like, I'm in a non-dual space right now, blissed out, the world doesn't exist, uh, but in truth, that's not really real, but I, I can make a good talk as a teacher. And others may know, you know, may, you know, and others, others, or others, or at least uh, the ego in myself knows that's not the truth within the world of duality, you're, you're lying. So is it worth sharing that information with others uh, who are still within duality that, 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 that is the experience There seems to be, even though one says certain things, 
it seems to be my perception that that's not the truth of what they are so it's it's the wolf in, in, in it's what's called a, a false teacher a teacher that can give a good talk uh but really is not the real thing you know um uh so uh, for example a teacher that's having sex with multiple people students uh you know and uh, it seems to be confirmed uh to well, that's a perception as well you could say that's a judgment but it seems to be a um uh, at that level of consciousness the, the, the role within duality of a teacher to share with students the role uh, at that level is to you know is uh, within even that's a, even that is a judgment at a high level doesn't exist but within that context of that level of consciousness to ward the students that look uh, that look to to that and to share you know like you know it se seems to be to my, my perception that a teacher um uh, that um you know uh, uh, seems seems to me to have fallen i may not give the story in full form and who i spoke to and what why i see that in detail but i i, I feel it's uh I, I could feel it's a responsibility to say that as a teacher to say within duality there are such things uh as fallen teachers and if one uh, is a teacher to to share that information and uh, and also you know I mean like at the level of 12 steps uh, it would be like okay uh, this person is saying that they are abstinent from food or from alcohol and they're talking the talk but uh, in my and uh, and someone will say to say well I'm going to go, go to them for help and then to say well yeah, it's just my view uh, and my perception that they may not be the real deal so uh, so yes uh, at a certain level you know uh, to to be said well that's a judgment yes i agree at the level of non-duality that would be a judgment um so because all you could say all thought and everything within the world but at different levels of consciousness doing the right thing and saying the right things exist within separation and duality it doesn't necessarily have to be a judgment it could be an intuitive thing that just is spontaneously being said and seems to be the right thing okay so i'll stop there on